Hello everyone, welcome to my first PyQ tutorial. Today you're going to learn how to write your for first PyQ application. It's not a GUI application, it's just Python and the Qt uh, event loop. So let's start. First, let's create our project directory. I call it hello PyQ. Let's create our file and now of course we need to install uh, PyQt first. For this purpose I used a tool called uh, pipenv uh, which you can install with pip3 install pipenv. So what this tool does is actually you can install uh, packages in a clean environment. So we can use pip and install pyqt here. Oh, sorry, it's pyqt5. Yep, doesn't find the package, of course. So, pyqt5. And in the meantime, since this will download all the Qt libraries, in the meantime, we can uh, work on our application. So, first start with the shebang for Python 3. Then we will need to import the sys module and also the pyqt5 qt core um, From pyqt5 qt core we need to import q core application. Now let's get into the details and write our main function. So to create a QCore application, we just create a new object. Then we pass the sysargv arguments. And now we have created the object, but of course, uh, when we would run this um, application it would instantly stop because we have no event loop running. So to trigger the um, cute event loop we just need to call app.exec with the underscore that's for Python 3 because exec is already used by internal um, key, is, is already used as an internal keyword for Python 3. So basically that's our first cute application and I show you what happens when you uh, do something like this. Well, pretty much nothing will happen, but I'll demonstrate uh, what's what's a problem with this uh, code here. So we use pip env shell that gives us a shell with a new environment. And then let's run our application. First set the executable bit, run the application and we'll see um, it's running, but well, I can't stop it. So luckily um, I can kill it. It's called main.py. So let's kill our application. So what, 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 what went wrong here? So basically we have a, um, an event loop from Qt running and also Python. And what's happening here is that the Qt event loop runs all the time. So Python code is never executed. So when we um, try to stop the application from the terminal uh, by pressing the control C, the Python never gets executed, so it never registers the call actually. So what we need to do here is to register an so-called, um, so two things. First of all, we need to make sure that the actual Python event queue is um, executed. And we can easily do that by doing something with the Qt uh, application. So here I will start by adding a queue timer. 
And with this QTimer, we just call a simple function. I call it do stuff. And we print just hello world. It's just very boring hello world function. And then we create a new timer here. So we connect the timeout signal of the timer to our new function. And let's start the timer with our 100 milliseconds uh, interval. So when I do this, we should see now that, well, application is running. And when I press Control C, bang. Yeah, it aborts the application, but as you can see here, it's sec faults. So it's actually not a good way of stopping our application. So what do we need to change uh, to make this a great uh, small QCore application? Well, just import signal and register a new signal handler for the sigint signal. And in this handler, we just create or call a lambda function which takes a various number of arguments and we do nothing else than to call qcore application.quit. So now you will see when I start this application here, hello world all the time. And when we press control C, it stops uh, very gracefully. So that's it. That was the first uh, qcore application, uh, very quick and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah, there will be more.